That's a quickie. Live and at the scene. Ooh. What's I gonna undo? Let's undo it. Push it in there. Mm. There we are. Try that. Live and at the scene. We've took a few trim pieces off it. Um, my good friend Ted decided he wanted this. So I said to him, well, rather than the builders come and take it out and maybe damage it, if you want it in one piece, you come and get it. So we we're basically waiting for Ted to turn up with his oppos to come and take it, take it out. So we finally got here. <laughs> We're moving another step closer by taking this one out. We've just got to hope now there's no cancellation tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, and the new bifolds are going to go in here, make the whole front a bit straight. So anyway, just a quick, um, we're finally taking out the old doors. <laughs> you're happy then? Yeah, I think you're happy. I did what our guru Strauss after said. Um, got some vinegar. Quite smelly. Of course, it would be, wouldn't it? Because it's vinegar. <laughs> yeah, I've got two gallons of vinegar. <coughs> it's um, not an alternative to the um, evaporust. We keep the evaporust for the more delicate jobs and put the rough stuff in the vinegar cleaning vinegar hmm so let's see how we get on hey eh? so you know i've been uh, using the old evaporust on the old rusty tools and then i've been killing the evaporust in a bucket of water um, and the stuff i haven't got to yet i didn't really want to leave in the water for a week or two or three or four <laughs> you know what it's like so do you remember Remember the old uh, the old oil off the sockets? And I sat it in jars, didn't I? Well, <laughs> it's finally coming to use. Uh, it's dwindled down. Where the hell it's all gone, I don't know. But anyway, I've thrown them out of there and put them in there. It can stop in there for as many weeks as it wants now. And uh, I don't think it'll do it much harm. So that's that thing. So whilst we were talking about oil, I thought, mm, I've promised to make a, an oil can Menagerie, one there, one there. I've got one there, I've got one there. I've got two up here of the old oil cans. I've got one more in my mind somewhere, but where the hell that is, I don't know. Anyway, I promised to uh, give you a film of the old oil, um, oil cans that I've got. What is that one? What was that one? Something keys, keys, that one. That's probably the oldest one I've got. Quite big. Um, it's still got, the nice thing about it, this has still got the, um, not only the tip, but the tip has got, can you see? The, the little tip has got the little pin in it as well. Yeah. That's quite, um, quite nice. You can get that in there, yep. Yeah. That's it. Quite a few of them have still got a cap with a lid on. That's got a cap with a lid and a pin on it. Uh, I've got this one. There's no cap on that one. That one there. I had one up the side here somewhere. Oh, I've got one here, look. Slightly longer, the plastic type. Um, I've got one under here. Again, that plastic type. But this one here. What was this one? That was another little one. No cap on that one. I've got one here. Um, bell door oiler. Mm -hmm. uh, similar looking to that one. Uh, I don't know, we've got one in here. This one I bought on the internet, didn't realise it was that big. I thought it was much smaller. <laughs> that was much the same anyway. Yeah, so that's about the collection of oilers. If somebody's, I don't really, I don't collect them for any reason. If you remember, I was trying to find out what 
fitted in the Thomas Chatwin set. And there's another little oiler in there that I was looking for the Thomas Chatwin set. So if um, if I've got something particularly that you're looking for by a certain make or a certain name to finish your collection or whatever, just give me a shout. I'm not really a, an oil can collector as such. Hmm. But do you know when you've got something and you can't find it and this place is full? I've got one more film to do for the weekend and that'll be it. So anyway, hmm. I'm sort of catching up. This is a little catch-up video on the room. <laughs> They're coming tomorrow. Look, the uh, the sliding doors are gone. Sliding doors are gone. We uh, temporarily, we temporarily blocked it up with a bit of insulation that we had. There's still no roof though. Look. They're coming tomorrow. Hmm, um, you know you can see, it's not much, I reckon, is this the smallest extension <laughs> that's ever been made? <laughs> it's just pushed that room out that little bit. We were going to have new doors anyway, we wanted to get rid of them slidey ones and put bifolds in. And then Lance suggested, oh, why don't you push the room out to the edge of the kitchen? Uh, so we said, oh yeah, that's a good idea. So that's what we've done. We've pushed, we've replaced the floor, as you know, and done the room. And we've come up to this floor with the decorating. So all got to make good here and whatever. But uh, this week now they're going to do the roofs, the kitchen roof. They're going to put a roof here and put a roof up above the bedroom because they're a bit soft and we had them done about 20 years ago. So they're going to be due. Uh, so we're having the bifolds go in here and they're going to three sections and they're going to fold up here and they've got the blinds within them. Uh, so the suggestion was, why don't you push the room back? So we've pushed the room back a bit. So, and it should make the, the garden way more m come into the room, the, the room and the garden mellow together. That's the plan anyway. So... And we've been waiting and 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 waiting. And waiting. <laughs> so anyway, we are moving forward, yes. And a friend of ours, the reason we've took them out now, a friend of ours, uh, Ted, said that he wanted the doors. And we said, yeah, you're welcome to them, but if you want them, you better come and get them and take them out yourself as safely as possible. So that's what we've done. We've um, we've took him out. He'll clean that all up. I think he's got a project, he's got a job to do. He's got something for that to go. He's got somewhere for that to go. So at least they're not going to waste. Uh, going to another home on another project somewhere. Oh, can you see her? You can't see her, she's in the window. Give us a wave then. <laughs> she's behind the curtains in the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. I don't think. Let's get around there. Uh, no, you're lucky. But these are the two landing lights. You see in the garden how it lights up the whole thing. These are the two landing lights. <coughs> lights off, Deb. These are the two <laughs> landing lights that we have that uh, lights up the garden. Anyway. Hmm. So anyway. We're getting there, we're getting there. Closer, 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 closer. And um, this week, you're gonna get loads of videos. Well, that's the plan. So we'll wait and see. Debbie's off for a week, so Debbie's here all the time. And uh, I'll be coming back in an evening, catching up on what they've done.